Hey, this tutorial is all about creating distress text effect. Uh, I'm going to show you the distress text effect. Usually you can see it in t-shirts and you know. So I'm going to zoom in here and uh, yeah, so that's the distress text effect. So what we're going to do, I'm going to, I already made the text here. I'll draw in, in the X3 and uh, sorry X4 and I already converted it to curves so just in case you haven't converted it to curves uh, you click on the text and you go to arrange and that see this one that's the convert to curves okay. so those are objects now and also this one's an object okay so I'm going to delete this first Corel draw and the X4 here I'm going to move this over this side okay and the first thing we have to do is we're going to create a rectangular box just to enclose that Corel draw text because later on we're going to power clip that. Okay. So I'm going to move it down okay. and then I'll go to my fill and you go to your texture fill and choose vegetation. So in vegetation, you know it's black and green, but we don't want black and green. We need, we just need black. Okay, so make sure to choose black. Okay, if this one shows up, just click "Don't show this again." And then click OK. Okay, and this one will make it white. Okay, so you have a chance to preview it before clicking OK. Uh, that one, that texture is is really good for distress text. Okay, so and then I'll click OK. Okay. So that's my my texture. Now if you want to change the texture or you want to change the property of the texture, you can always go to your interactive field or type in G. And once you click on that, you're gonna see this this box here. You can always click that and rotate it if you want. And there's a preview of what you're getting. So if you're Say you want to have more distressed effect, you just move this closer, you can rotate it, okay, I'll just make it that way, okay, so let's say I'm happy with that, you go to your select tool and it's done, okay. Now, we have to change this to a bitmap, so you go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, and then make it 300 dpi, 300 dpi is fine, and then you make it black and white one bit so what's gonna happen is you're gonna have just black and white image because this right now is grayscale okay so you click on anti-aliasing and then click OK there so we have white and black but you notice here that the outline is black and the fill here in the status bar is white okay I want you to remove the outline uh, sorry remove the fill okay so this is white so I'll make it I'll remove the fill by clicking on this icon here for X for no fill there so now now what you can see now is just a texture of the black but we don't want black we want white right so now here in the status bar again it says black the outline okay so you go to your outline and you go to outline pen and then make this white and then click OK okay so that looks good so I'm gonna zoom in there so I'm going to put this one the text over on top of the, the rectangular box okay right now it's behind it right? so I'm going to go to my arrange order to front or page or there's a shortcut key too for shift page up okay so i'm gonna go here to front of page there you go so now we're going to power clip it okay so you click on the uh the uh, the image which is the background here the, the white and you go to effects power clip place inside the container okay so our container is the text that was converted to curves so i'll click and there you go so now, do you see that black? We don't want that black, right? Because what happens is 
the text was black right so we're going to remove the fill of the text there zoom in we don't see it anymore okay so that's for the text corel draw okay. so same same concept with the other one okay but instead of white we're gonna make it black so okay so let's do that again so we go to my rectangular tool or f6 i'll enclose this into the box okay i am going to move the x for our I'm move this down here i'm gonna move the rectangular box down i go to my fill pattern oh, sorry texture fill and i choose vegetation and once again i click on the black and this one should be white hit on preview to see how it looks like and then click OK. Okay. And then I can change the properties of the uh, of the uh, texture fill by going to your interactive fill or type in G. And then this box that shows up, you can rotate so you can make it you know go closer. Rotate that like this. Okay, so that's fine. I'm happy with that. And then you go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, remember to end the DPI, and then black and white, one bit, anti-aliasing, and then click OK. Now, once again, in the status bar, white is the fill. We want to remove the fill by clicking on this icon for no fill. And then the, the oh, here we don't need to change the outline to black because it's already black. Because we want it to be black okay so now now what I'm going to do I'm just going to change this to a gray color so that we have we can distinguish which one is switch okay but here I have to put it on top okay so click on the uh, the graphic x4 and then you go to arrange order to front of page or uh, shortcut key is shift page up and then you move it down okay. and then we are going to uh, power clip it so click on the bitmap okay, you know the black and white bitmap the texture you go to effects power clip place inside a container which is the container the container is my x4 click and it goes in okay so you can see some gray because the X4 was gray, so remove the fill by clicking on this X fill there. Okay, now let's view it. Hit F4 to view the whole thing. Very nice. Okay, so let's zoom in. Now, let's say you still want to have an effect of, you know, like the, the letters are chipped off and like that. Okay, so there is an eraser tool here in the toolbox. Okay, you go to uh, where's the eraser tool? Okay, here. This is the eraser tool or X. Okay, so in here the property bar of the eraser tool. Once you click on it, uh, there is uh, see this is 0.25 of an inch uh, thickness of the line. You can also change it to square or circle, but I'll make it circle, and I'll just make this smaller. Good. So I'll zoom in here, maybe some more. Okay. So the eraser tool would erase uh, a a vector image, a vector in or text in Corel. But you have to select it first. Okay. Remember to select the text first or the object. Okay. Or the vector image. Then go to your eraser tool. Okay. So I set that to 0 0.5 already, 0 0.05, and then I will just go like this. See, it's chipping off. So I'll make it thinner some more. Okay, see that? We we'll just make a random Okay. So you can do that with the rest of the text. Okay, so let's say you want to you also want to change the X4, okay? 
remember you have to select the vector okay these are all vectors okay so if i go to view and wireframe that's vectors okay. so i'm going to just click on my eraser tool and just erase some see the whole thing f4 so that ends my tutorial very nice actually stylized